80% air dried. These waves are actually really pretty, especially unruly on the shorter layer. Mixed feelings. So today I'm going to be testing out this flat iron spray by John Frieda, which promises to create a very smooth, straight hairstyle that lasts up to three days. And yes, we're gonna do a full three day wear test. Or is the flat iron on its own? This one is by Numi. It is going to help me straighten the hair and remove some of the frizz. But the real test here would be to see, you know, the real difference with and without. See if the hair is actually straighter on one side versus the other, or if it holds longer to the styling. I just can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, no heat protectant is not a good idea. This is one of those like small sacrifices I make from time to time for this channel. <laughs> Flat iron is really good and of course it has gotten rid of quite a bit of frizz. And now let's see what happens on this side. It sounded like I was frying my hair. Is that when you put it in your hair? You yes, it looks like I was doing something wrong. Hopefully I haven't done any irreversible damage to my hair. So after applying the flat iron spray, I'm supposed to blow dry first. I guess the name flat iron spray. A little bit like sticky, maybe my fault. So moving forward, I'm gonna apply less product. Now that the product has dried, according to the official tutorial, I am going to go in with this flat iron to heat activate the product. Oof, there's a bit of a steam coming out. Doesn't sound like I'm frying my hair anymore. This is definitely interesting. Now that I've gone in with the flat iron, most of that stickiness I was mentioning before disappeared. We have some hairs here that look a little bit puffier on this area. All right, so once again, I'm gonna very quickly do this side. I'm just thinking that I'm gonna have to very quickly blow dry on this side too, or else it's going to be quite unfair. Spray this side, go in with a blow dryer. Um, I know exactly what you're thinking. So much heat. I'm kind of sorry for my right side, but for this other side where I have the spray, um, well, this type of products, they're just thermoactivated. So it's not only like allowed, it's also like a requirement for the product to actually work. Yeah, that stickiness does seem to disappear with the heat. About to move on to the worst area, like the one that has more freeze, that it's more unruly, the messier, more challenging top layer. But before that, don't you see like a difference in volume, especially on this area? This side looks a little bit sleeker. Spray the top layer a little bit. Okay, there we go. I totally get why they call this a flat iron spray even though you need the blow dryer. Definitely need both tools but especially when you go in with the flat iron is that that stickiness that's so annoying about the product just goes away. Literally it vanishes. You don't feel the product anymore. So I just discovered the instructions area. There's like a peel off. Please do better than me and Remember to peel these off. Seems to be okay with what we've done. Um, let's check out the ingredients. Wow, I have good and bad news. This product has tons of alcohol. It's the second ingredient. Ah, uh, this video is making me so nervous. The third one is a silicone. And then the fourth ingredient is indeed keratin. It is hydrolyzed keratin, which is a relief because it seems to be in quite high concentrations. Hydrolyzed keratin is actually supposed to be really good for hair. So I don't know how I feel about this formula. I have like mixed feelings. Uh, so right now I feel like my hair is truly taking the bullet. But you know what? 
partially at least calms me down that this side looks smoother straighter overall shinier and more sealed and it also feels softer look at that difference these are my ends with the product and these are my ends without wow <laughs> Okay, but will this endure the test of time? I'm gonna check in with you guys in 24 hours to see how this is holding on. This is day two for my John Frieda Frizz Ease three day straight flat iron spray. Let's do a quick comparison, but I think, so it's been around 22 hours since I first applied. So far, I'm very impressed with this side held on to the styling a lot better. This side is way frizzier. Like, look at that. The bangs are holding on there. Whereas this side is like, also I don't know about the long-term effects because of the alcohol content, but I have to say it does not feel dehydrated. Look at that shine. I'm zooming out a little bit. The side with the John Frieda without. So far, this side is clearly winning. If you ask me, um, we'll see if I change my mind on future. Okay, day three update. There's a bit of a plot twist. On one side, the freeze control is undeniable. I mean, you can see this side versus this side. This side is way frizzier. So in that regard, it works. That said, the amount of tangles on my ends is kind of concerning. Also, the fact that my hair feels very dry and almost a little bit damaged, probably because of the high concentrations of alcohol in the ingredients list. I'm sorry, I don't see myself using this again. I'd rather spend my money on maybe the Oplex Duo that also takes care of my hair's health or the Kerastas Thermique. I don't know, I feel that there are other temporary fixes for frizz as concerning when it comes to the hair's health. I know this is kind of unexpected because I was really loving the product in the first two days, but unfortunately I've changed my mind. There's a lot more I'm looking for when it comes to an anti-freeze product. I'm so sorry, I thought I was really going to like this one. And that is it for today, guys. I hope those updates went well because I'm obviously pre-filming this outro and I have no idea. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I will catch up with you guys again on my next one. Do you wanna follow? Click here.